All right, YouTube, this is Mr. Donald Will 13, and it's been a long time since I've been able to say that, guys. I haven't recorded in quite some time, and I'm happy to be back on the PS4 now, if you haven't noticed. Uh, I have yet to post a video on the PS4, and that's because I did not have the um, HDMI splitter, so I couldn't really record without the HDCP protections, which just got lifted today. I can now record without that, so I stuck it out. Anyway, I'm going to show you guys what's up with Mutt for me, um, since it's been so long. I have, I do have a pretty solid squad now. Um, I have th this Bowman's actually a backup, um, but I'll just go, kind of go through. I have a 99 overall team. Um, it's a pretty solid team. I can go through the lineup in a minute. Um... Yeah, I'm pretty content with Mutt right now. Um, I'm actually a little bored with Mutt right now, honestly. Um, I know the golden tickets are right up right now, so that's that's helped a little bit, and I've been interested in this QB cam, the golden ticket cam right here. Plus two to speed, pretty solid looking card. Just, I don't know, I guess I'm not too interested in this cam. Um, you can compare him to Vic, and he's definitely better than Vic. He's... If you include the boost, and I'm not sure how much it takes into effect, he is faster than Vic. So that's interesting. Plus, and the plus two to boost is nice. Uh, plus two boost is to speed is nice, but I really have no desire to go out and get a new quarterback with having Vic right now. Um, I think he's well worth 700k. Um, that Vic, I saw Vic a cam earlier for 1.25, and I was going to actually snag that and sell my Vic just to try him out because that was a very cheap cam, but he was gone pretty quick off the auction, and I didn't have the coins at the time. So, anyway, let's get into it. Let's get into the lineup. Here, um, I really do have a, uh, Dream O-line, I'm pretty content with it. There's no really O-lineman that I want. You can see I had, you saw earlier that I do have that sparkle, um, oh gosh, Tyron Smith, and I am selling him. Uh, to be honest, he's, I mean, good coins and <laughs> not much worse than Walter Jones, and Walter Jones actually has a better chem purposes for me. So, um... Anyway, I have a dream O-line. I really don't need anyone else on O-line. If I need a backup, I have uh, Orlando Pace specifically for my ground and pound lineup, which I plan on updating, but I'm not going to show right now because it's really, uh, it's probably a little out, to date, out of date. You can see I've got a solid fullback, and my most outdated card is probably Peterson. Um... In terms of running back, I mean, I have older cards on here for sure, but in terms of running backs, there are two new ones, obviously the new AP, which for me I want, but it's more of a dream card, and then more of a reachable card is the new Legendary Dickerson. Now, I'm hoping that either of those two drop a lot in price when they release. I'm assuming there was at least one halfback made of a, out of a golden ticket, so... Assuming with that, I'm hoping these those prices drop and I can, um, though I love this AP, I can move away and go to an even better card. So, um, This is my receiving core, and I would like to consider my receiving core one of the best in the game. Uh, I know other than Bolitnikov, I do have some pretty solid receivers along with uh, the best tight end, and I have Gronk as backup. And that's mostly because, I mean, usually I wouldn't have put that much into a backup tight end, but I use the New England Patriots, and their two tight end sets come up so much, it's actually just necessary at this point. So, if you want to, I mean, I love my receivers, I love my core so far, and I again, I have not used the new Stafford or the new Vic, or excuse me, Cam, but to me... I, I mean, there's no one that can throw uh, long enough other than Vic to get to specifically Randy Moss. Um, he His speed is unreal, and it's definitely tough for defenses. But honestly, without Vic, he, his 102 speed is almost useless. 
uh, just because he gets so fat, he gets so far down the field so fast that he, I mean, any other quarterback would underthrow him, and that's just asking for a pick. So, and there's my defense. Um, pretty content with my defense, honestly. I don't really have any any wants um, right now. I. I guess I could get Navarro Bowman upgraded to a different linebacker, but honestly, I'm running four three defense. There's no, there's no need for that at all. Um, so, and I like having this Navarro. I guess the only thing I was thinking about is maybe replacing Derek Thomas, but he plays so well for me. I just I don't see wanting uh, to go out and get Vaughn. I do have Ray Lewis. I think he's the best middle linebacker in the game. I I don't see any challenge to that really with his hit power and his tackling and the way he really bounces on the ball in game I know his zone isn't as good as some other linebackers out there such as the golden ticket Kiko which I have yet to really play against but anyway here's my secondary and it is also slightly outdated and you'll notice I chose Pat Pete over I have a Charles Woodson and that's because Pat Pete does plus two to speed and plus two to press as well as the fact that he's got 97 speed. And for me, that's just way too valuable. I think Pat Pete is a really good corner. There is, um, I mean, I could get a new corner and uh, go get Revis or whoever, but honestly, I have no desire to get really anyone new on defense right now. The only person I've been really debating is this Ronnie Law in sub for Brian Dawkins, the positional reward, he is really better at almost every stat I want him to be better at, including zone and speed. And Honestly, the only downside with Dawkins, other than chem purposes, but that honestly isn't an issue, I have like 120 zone, is that Brian Dawkins has pretty bad catching a pretty bad catching rating in comparison to Ronnie Lott. I'm hoping a new strong safety comes out to maybe drop the price of Dawkins so I can pick him up and maybe sell him if I don't like him. It's just right now he's so expensive. He's really not a card that I want to try to pick up and sell back. So if you guys have any other suggestions for my team, uh, please let me know. I'm definitely interested to try that out. I've got uh, pretty solid coach that I probably won't ever move away from unless they make some sweet coach because, I mean, the plus one, to, I forget about it, but I have a plus one to every defensive attribute. I think that really is huge, guys. It does play a good role in my team. So along with that, that is my team, and that's my update, and hello back to you guys. I haven't made a video in a while, and I know this one went a little long at eight minutes, but... I hope you guys enjoyed it, and again, if you have any lineup suggestions at all, um, maybe a different running back than the two I mentioned, or if you have any suggestions um, at defense or even my receiving core, just let me know, guys. I'd love to hear them. Thanks for watching, guys, and stay tuned for more upcoming videos. Until next time, guys, peace out.